Hey everyone, this is Karen with Naturally with Karen. Karen or Shaman, whoever you want to call me, or hey sis, or what's up. Uh, today we're doing one called Dem Bones and Calcium. And there's so much that I began to learn about calcium. Even more when I began several years ago teaching. Uh, bless up Kim, good to see you. So much that I began to learn about calcium. And I learned even more because long ago, you probably remember too, is that we were taught that you better take your calcium supplements. And when I was a child, and I remember being 60s and 70s, um, I was a teenager, I was 15 and 75, you know, it was hurry up and drink all your cow milk because Drink all your cow milk because you really want to get your calcium. You want to be strong. You want to take care of your bones. And so when I have consultations with clients, you know, just like me growing my hair right now, and I've got my little poof up here, you know, and it's getting thicker and thicker and shinier and nicer. Um, you regenerate yourself. And part of that is knowing about how to get your bones to stay strong, your teeth to stay strong, even if you've been through a lot of different things in your life, okay? So when we think about calcium, oftentimes we think about the programs that we were sold for so many years. We think about getting our dairy products. You know, we got to get our, our meat and our milk and our eggs and our cheese and all the things that we were sold as being good for us. And in fact, today I was looking at, um, as we warm up and wait for others to join us, I was looking at something that I feel is really being put out there by the, some of these industries, a woman from Finland who's a, called a social media gold, right? She's social media gold. So she's got a really extensive following because she's really young and she's persuasive and she looks good and people want to look at her. And yet she had been a plant-based clean eater for about 13 years, it said, or something like that. Don't quote me because it was early, early this rise at about six o'clock in the morning, you know, in, in the first part of the day where I was reading this article and I thought to myself, you know, now she was pictured in front of a burger on a bun and she needed a burger. And before we start wrapping up on calcium, just let me tell this story for a moment, please, without getting too impatient, okay? Because I know a lot of people come back and they say, oh, come on, get down to it. And I'm just not a mechanical person. I'm a shaman, and the shaman is also a storyteller. So you might have read that article, or maybe you'll find that article after you listen to this live stream with me. Um, but anyway, so the story goes that first she got a rash on her face and then she went to her doctor. She just kind of wasn't feeling so good and um, she, her doctor didn't really do it for her. So then she went to an acupuncturist, which by the way, I went to for well over five years and oftentimes I went once a week to clear out um, young childhood um, issues that happened to me. Um, it's also why I, I mentioned the psilocybe and the MDMA, right, with, Dr. with Sasha, whose home I was invited to. Those were all tools in our medicine bag to help us through physical, mental, emotional, psychic, spiritual issues. So she was had the burger and she said, you know, I went to my acupuncturist and my acupuncturist said I had too much yin, had too much dampness in my body from eating raw food. And I've heard this for 35 years. And as I was explaining early today, um, I could so debunk this like that, okay? Because of all of the years, 35 of being vegan. And as I was sharing with someone, anyone that tells you that they were 100% strict vegan for 35 years is absolutely lying to you. Because when I got diagnosed with ovarian cancer, I went off the wagon. Like I had a burger and it just repulsed me and I got super sick because it had been so many years, but I wasn't stable. And that's why when I do my coaching, I do what? Number one, gather, number two, stabilize, number three, detoxify, and number four is heal. I worked it with myself. This is number five. So, the acupuncturist told her she had a yin 
imbalance. She was eating too much raw food. It was too cooling and too damp for her system. And I'm going to say, you know what, you had an underlying adrenal thyroid insufficiency and you didn't have the building blocks to make a lot of your hormones. And because of that, this uh, acupuncturist, and I'm sure the acupuncturist is correct. I'm not trying to say I'm right. Everybody else is wrong. The acupuncturist actually could have coordinated with some of these other factors that I have, which is wrong, the wrong thing with oversimplistic monotheoretical medicine, okay? It takes a medicine woman who has gone a very long journey to put together, oh, that's right, I remember getting acupuncture for five years and learning from the Chinese doctors and the licensed acupuncturist students at five branches in Soquel, Santa Cruz, where I'm from. And so it doesn't make you a know-it-all. What it makes you is a person who really packed into their life a lot of experiences. So because she had dampness, because she had a rash on her face, because she was, quote, going into early menopause, because she didn't quite feel so good, I would have revved her back up by getting her hair test done and figuring out exactly where her deficiencies and what her metabolic system was for $125. And there's no such thing as a burger. There is dead cow on a bun, but there's no such thing as a burger. So when you call it a burger, it's like calling it bacon. It's it's not bacon, it's dead pig, right? Dead pig that's got, you know, been food colored and inhumanely treated and everything else. So while you might say, oh my God, that's so offensive to me and you're just such a bleeding heart when it comes to the animals. No, 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 don't get it twisted. Because I've had 35 years to think about this plus how I thought about things as a child when I wasn't really a super high plant-based eater. And I've gone through hell and high water and I've gone through thick and thin. If you were to see my own life, just like if I were to see yours, you would say, oh my goodness. Because I know better. And I know better because I've lived it. So the reason she's going into menopause is because her copper and zinc levels are off because her calcium levels are off. And we're gonna go into calcium today and I'm gonna show you some really surprising, even some startling information so that you're not gonna get lost and let them fool you in the system, okay? So I know that you have been very patient with me because I went through an absolute hell ride with heroin and fentanyl abuse with a close family member and it really took me down and I'm still not totally back. I told you that I'd be primarily regenerated by the end of May. I'm still working on me and I have a few other things that got thrown into the fire and I'm processing those too. So um, sadly, if the way our world was a little bit different then our elders would be really in a very comfortable situation, but they're being tossed out on the streets and being called homeless and dirty and bums and all these things. We don't have our respect right. So. We think about calcium and we think about our bones and our teeth, right? Your bones are actually the reservoir, the reservoir. They hold it inside your living waters in these reservoirs inside of your bones is the calcium. Calcium is a messenger. It's a mineral. It's a trace element. It's also a messenger. And I want to give thanks to my elder, Dr. Watts, who owns Trace Elements Lab, who I work with very intimately, and for everything that I have been learning and for these 35 years in gathering, I want to thank Dr. Watts for this really special piece about calcium, okay? So I have some notes down here that I want to make sure that I include, and I'm probably going to put my reading glasses on because I'm not totally degenerated yet, or regenerated yet, okay? As you age, your skeleton actually um, is strengthening and strengthening, but then the mass of it, how heavy it is, starts to minimize as you age. That doesn't mean that you're shrinking or that you're necessarily going, <laughs> I'm looking at my glasses, you're necessarily going into osteoporosis and you wouldn't go into osteoporosis but for the things I'm gonna talk about, okay? So bones, are called upon by the other organs and glands in your body to actually bring forth calcium, right? To bring forth it to the, the cell receptor sites have calcium sites on them, right? So you need to have that. Um, calcium actually triggers your heart muscle to produce a rhythm and your heart muscle 
has got to be able to contract. It's got to, you know, it's a call and a response. So if you go take African dance and you're doing African dance and you're, you know, you're really going with the live drums there like I did for many years, your heart is, you know, it's contracting. And the number one beat that we use is a heartbeat, right? Nyabingi uses a heartbeat. And most of the bass, bass beats on djembe and drums that I play are heartbeat, right? So that contraction of your heart is only done through the use of the calcium that's inside your body. Calcium has to enter the cells. It has to influence and um, cell division. So when cells divide, if you've ever heard me speak about apoptosis, um, this is a really, really packed live stream. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I might go back and do one on YouTube. So if you want to take notes, I would strongly advise you to do that because I'm going to drop a lot of knowledge about calcium that I guarantee you're not going to find anywhere because I've really put a lot, a lot of years into this to, to really overstand it. So um, calcium enters your cells and influences cell division, and it also in, influences cell differentiation. And as I started to say, apoptosis. So when you're eating cacao and you're doing hemp and you're doing cannabis with THC, you are using an apoptotic and apoptosis like a pop tart that's how i remember it apoptosis is a function your body has to get rid of negative cells and energy right so cannabis and thc and cacao and you can look it up there's apoptotic apoptotic foods out there that you can eat and so I don't really like to do a ton of cacao, but I think cacao is really a great investment for that reason because it facilitates apoptosis. All right, so calcium has everything to do with your acid and alkaline balance. And so if I do your hair test and I see that your calcium is really way down below or it's really super skyrocketed, I'm gonna ask you, you know, or usually the person will say, I know, I know I saw my hair test. I'm gonna quit taking calcium supplements now. And I go, well, yeah. Because look at what we've got here, and like you actually might end up in the psych ward, and I'm going to show you why. I'm like, have you had emotional difficulties? And they're like, well, yeah, actually I have. Oh, my gosh. So we end up talking about this super, super huge. Note this down on your note, okay? Calcium has everything to do with your nervous system function and nerve conduction. So I remember it was probably 1983, that I started coming up with the symptoms of something that I'm sure so many people have that are gonna be listening to this on YouTube, carpal tunnel syndrome, okay? You may or may not, after you go to your primary care doctor and they say, oh, it's carpal tunnel, you know, you've got pain, you've got, you know, issues where numbness is radiating down into your fingers, and then they might send you or harm you over to the neurologist who's a nerve guy or gal and they might set you up with something called an NCV which is a nerve conduction velocity exam whoa and then they're going to take a little shocker pad and they're going to shock you to see if your nervous system is picking are you picking up now okay are you picking up so are you picking up or are you not picking up? And it's gonna be measured on a little graph usually, right? Then the decision is gonna be made, well, are we gonna go in there and do a little slicey dicey and kind of go into you know, the median tunnel there where you've got the nerves and kind of you know, release it a little bit? Um, or are we gonna send you, farm you, off to physical therapy so they can send you home with exercises to do like, you know, these kinds of things where you're whatever. So because I was taught by women, my grandmother especially, my maternal grandmother, but my mother for sure, she was like, mind, mind over matter. Like, get your mind to work on this. Or do you need someone to cut you so that your mind will believe that you're healed, right? So... At that point, I was too young. I was in my early 20s, you know, and I was out on my own in California and I was supposed to marry someone and that kind of didn't work out. And some doors don't open and some doors, you know, don't close. And that was one of them that just didn't open. And so there I was figuring out what I'm going to do. Bless up, Marky and Kim. I love you both. 
And so, you know, as it turned out, I didn't do the surgery. I got the nerve conduction velocity test. I found out I had really severe carpal tunnel. I've, if you're a shaman, if you're a healer, if you're a spiritual guide, you get to go through way more stuff sometimes than other people do. So anyway, I didn't go get the surgery. I thought, woo, hell no. I'm not going to I don't want to go in there and have someone cut my wrist. That just doesn't even sound good. But what if I hadn't have had my mother and my grandmother? What if I wouldn't have been on my way to becoming a shaman who's also a medicine woman? Then I would have never thought that way. I would have been like, well, yeah, I got to get rid of my carpal tunnel. And so I understand that people largely think that way. But there's a handful of people that are really starting to go, wait a minute hold up, wait a minute, I don't want to get cut to relieve my pain unless I absolutely have to, okay? Uh, just look at the incidence of neuroma and scar tissue and everything else that happens too. Bless up, Christy. So nerve conduction velocity and carpal tunnel, your calcium has everything to do with your nerve conduction. How do you conduct, conduct, electricity and your electricity has everything to do with your magnetism and if science the great almighty science is absolutely correct then you live on an em planet right that's supposed to be a sphere and not a sacred geometrical shape and um, nothing like the um, endinkra or anything like that i'm sure joking okay kidding aside so um what's going on is that you heal yourself. <laughs> and what you need to know is that your minerals and your trace elements have everything to do with your spark plugs. So whether or not you can conduct electricity and you can conduct electricity, you can be magnetic. Otherwise, you don't attract anyone. I mean, you could be totally ugly, but you can have an attraction about you because people are like, ooh, she's kind of got like a little something, something. She's kind of got like a really cool vibe. Like, I know that, you know, I'd really like spending some time with her or him or it or they or whatever, right? So um, <clears throat> because of this conduction, calcium totally helps your endocrine system. And we know that, but let's go into it, okay? First of all, I want to give thanks to Danielle Laporte, who lives here locally in Northeast Minnesota and has traveled around like I have quite a bit. Um, she makes a lot of beautiful indigenous crafts, and I've got one of her chenille shawls that she made. And she told me something that really stuck with me. If you're listening, Danielle, she said, hey, shaman, there's a war on the endocrine system. And I was like, whoa, that's really deep. Ooh, I got to think about that. That is really seriously deep. But you know what? Man, let's give credit where credit's due. Because if all the sisters and brothers and the it's and the they's, and we can all come together and we can solve healing our endocrine system, and we can do it on our own and stop allowing the great almighty Wizard of Oz the, to read your blood testing, you can heal it yourself. <clears throat> okay? So the other thing I want to note is going having gone through the most magnitudinous experience of opioid addiction, one thing I learned is this big, long Harry Potter word that has so much meaning to me. Opioid induced endocrinopathy. Whoa, okay. People who use opioids ended up with a case of endocrine problems. Why don't you just say that? But opioid induced endocrinopathy. That's a lot. Okay, so people that are using heroin and fentanyl and what else? Percocet, you guys know some more opioids. Uh, fentanyl's now in the cannabis. They're now pressing it into the bars, the Xanax bars, and it's creeping up in all kinds of stuff, okay? So buyer beware because this fentanyl is not an accident. It's not, I'm kind of patting like a kitty, it's not just China opportunistically seizing the deal. What's really going on here is fentanyl is showing up in all this stuff and other things are showing up in your food. Buyer, beware. Eat closest to the tree and the ground. Okay? Just 
Mark my words on that. Your secretory glands are totally affected by calcium. We're still in calcium. I didn't go too far down the rabbit hole. Your pancreas. This is where, you, where's the pen, okay? Start writing right here, okay? Right here. Start writing. Your pancreas, for every single person that you know and that you love and that you want to help, can only secrete insulin with the help of the calcium in your body, in your, where? The reservoir, in your bones, okay? It cannot do this properly if calcium is not available. So when I get your hair test and I see the calcium is way down low, right? I go, uh-oh, something's been going on there. The thyroid has just been chugging and chugging and chugging and chugging. And I look to see, are they a slow type one, two, three, four? Or now, if they're not a child, because a child, it's normal to have a fast metabolism. But are they a fast one, two, three, or four? So there's eight different types of metabolic types that you can be, and your metabolism is run on these spark plugs. <laughs> You want to get these checked because there's tissue relativity, what your tissues are containing, and there's what your blood is containing, and they might be two totally different answers as far as testing is concerned. Let me tell you why as we get into this, okay? This is life-saving information. I'm studying a couple hours a day because I'm like, whoa, this is the piece I can bring to the people. I know a lot of them can't hear me, I don't look like the sexy gal. I don't have the lumineers. I don't look like, you know, um, what, Kate Middleton? I don't know. Um, but I don't look like Nature Boy. But you know what? I got knowledge. I'll save your life. I'll resurrect you. I guarantee you. Okay? So what else did I want to say here? Calcium protects you from colon cancer. How many people are like, oh, I got to eat more fiber because I don't want to get colon cancer? Well, yes, but I mean, if you eat close to the tree, you don't have to be counting your fiber, you know, grams and stuff like that. Calcium also alleviates high blood pressure. I got notes, so I made sure I stuck to, you know, I'm getting better organized here. Calcium, oh, here's another one. Start writing. How many people, give me a thumbs up or a heart if you've heard of calcitonin. Have you heard of calcitonin before? Let me take a drink while you tell me. And by the way, it's uh, no joke. It's like 50-something degrees here today. So that's why I have a sweatshirt on again. Whoops, you can't see it with that light. 56 degrees. I'm not lying. I don't like it cold. I like it warm. Your calcium is regulated by what's known as vitamin D, which is a hormone. It's not a vitamin. It's regulated by calcitonin, which is also a hormone. It's regulated, your calcium is regulated by these things, and calcitonin, which is a hormone, is coming from where? Your thyroid and your parathyroid glands. So when I see someone who was not feeding their thyroid their whole life, whose baby came in with an, a big head circumference, who was extra tall or extra short, remember dwarfism and giantism and the whole thyroid stuff I've been telling you, if you did not read my book, please read my book. It's a lifesaver. It saves my life and it saves yours because I need to work and I need to eat. Get your hair test. Your thyroid is going to start taking from the reservoir in your bones. And then women are going to come to me and they're going to go, you're not a doctor. And I'm going to go, I know. But first thing I'm going to do is ask you to stop drinking skim milk. And they go, I don't know about that. I went to Mayo Clinic and they told me that's what I'm supposed to do. And I'm like, and I'm telling you not to do it. So then you start to get a little tired of that about 30 years later, and you start to go, um, I don't want to be a doctor. I don't. I don't want to be stuck having to do the same protocol they do and giving people the same instructions when it's not really helping them. I'm almost 60. I've taken myself through some amazing, <laughs> unbelievable journeys of healing that would just absolutely be too much for most people okay all right so um why i look at things differently with calcium is going to be very different than years and years and years of clients 16 years here in minnesota you can look 
Call the city of Cloquet if you want to. Was Karen Pringle licensed and insured to do business for $2 million in the city of Cloquet to do wellness and massage and, and sell? You know, yep, yep, she was. Is she in good standing? Yep, she's in perfect standing, okay? So there we go, we got that done. Yes, I've had professional space. Yes, I did this in California. Yes, I've been studying every single day. Yes, these things are incredibly important. Does that account for anything? Well, you probably wouldn't think so if you looked at my bank balance right at this moment. Because you're gonna get in your car and you're gonna drive to the Mayo Clinic or the VA hospital because what? You're gonna see them as having something more to offer you. Something more, and they are. They've got scanning machines, they've got white lab jackets. I don't have a white lab jacket. I've just got my uh, dog hair, you know, uh, wolfy sweatshirt here. I don't have a white lab jacket. I don't have a stethoscope. I definitely don't have all kinds of needles to pull your blood out. I don't have x-ray machines. I don't have MRIs and I don't have CT scans and I don't have all of that stuff. I don't put electrodes on your heart and check your heart rhythm because I don't, I don't need them. I don't. Okay. I have this and this mine and yours are a hundred thousand times more powerful and insightful and creative and healing than any of that and they don't damage you in fact they rebuild you they heal you okay so see we just lost one person I don't even care anymore okay so now the hormone insulin affects calcium retained by the body and the reabsorption in the kidneys okay calcium affects the hormone insulin, the insulin that the calcium needed to bring for the, pan, the, the pancreas, right? So think about your diabetes folks here, okay? Is now gonna also figure to factor in with your kidneys. How many people come to me and tell me that they had morbid depression after they had anxiety, and they had major or morbid or severe depression. And now the doctor's checking because they had them all these medications that are taking their calcium down, pulling it out of their bones, slowing down their thyroid. And now they're munching on cheese and wheat and everything else. And what happens? What happens? Anybody want to guess? Let me see. Let me see your answers. I know Kim will guess. What happens, Kim? They're munching on cheese. They're taking two or three different kinds of antidepressants and anti-inflammatories, and they go in and the doctor does a kidney function test and tests the, I think it's a GSF, it's a filtration. What happens? What? Boom, it's like the claw machine. You just got a beginning kidney disease diagnosis. <gasps> Whoa! Now I qualify for disability? Yes, I don't have to work anymore and sell my hours on the plantation. Whoa! This is great. Wish I would have thought of that because then I could just turn my kidney disease around and I could have gotten that check, but I didn't. So anybody that's thinking about that, you can do that. I mean, if you, I'm, don't, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being serious. Okay, I'm joking. I'm, I'm having fun. I'm not kidding because, you know, kids are baby goats. We don't want to harm, harm them. Anyway, um, thyroid and adrenals affect your calcium. So when I get your hair test. I have one down on the floor I was going to show you, but I don't want to reach down and get it. When you get your hair test done, it's going to show me, and nine out of ten times, it shows me adrenal and thyroid insufficiency or deficiency. And it does that because preceding any thyroid issue is an adrenal issue. And whether you know it or not, because your spark plugs were not working right, your trace elements, you're not going to have your thyroid working right. So that's why I wrote the book Detox and Heal Your Thyroid and the second revision, which I have to get done really quickly now because for some reasons, and I've got the jacket already. It's got to go into the jacket and everything. It's getting edited is because you need that hair test. <laughs> need, 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 need. You need to invest $125 in you and the $750 shipping or I'm going to put a link on here where you can get a 30 minute consult so we can review it together over the screen. And I can say, whoa, you're great. This is all you got to do. Um, you know, I might say, hey, you're going to do this one, the silicon, the sulfur, the joint support, you know. And I might say, how about for you? We're just going to, you know, get some sulfur in. These are 20 bucks, but I've got them on sale right now for 10 bucks. They're not expired. 
I've also got the one that's multiple minerals. If you want to buy one, they're $10, regularly $20. You can see them on the shop on my website at Naturally with Karen. I've also got lithium, which is really, really good just for, for me to help people that are low in lithium to just bounce right out of depression, okay? But again, let's just not throw at stuff willy-nilly unless you're absolutely balding and you just absolutely can't get your hair tested. Let's get your hair tested. Your hair tissue mineral analysis profile number two. I'm going to put the link on there with and without the consulting and I'll be able to go over it with you just like I did the ones this strong this week. Okay. And they, they're going to seriously save people's lives. Okay. I want to tell you something. How many people have heard of cortisone? How many people have had a cortisone injection or have a mom and dad or grandparents that went in to get a cortisone injection? I know lots of people have because they use it all the time and it's really, really deadly. But cortisone causes you a severe, severe calcium loss, according to Dr. Watts. Severe. So we, we don't want to do that, right? What else? GI, gastrointestinal surgery. How many people are going to, um, back in the day, I don't know if they still do it, but it was the gastric bypass. It was the lap band surgeries and all of these different um, surgeries to lose weight, right? And this really depletes your calcium. So now imagine I've got a client and she keeps going in and blood testing and she goes, I know I have a thyroid issue. I just know I do. I've read all the symptoms. I have all the symptoms, but the doctor keeps checking her blood and she doesn't come up with a thyroid diagnosis, right? So now she's like, I have had it, which is usually like what they do. Like I've totally had this. I've been paying and paying and they're not doing anything for me. And I, and now, now they're kind of angry. They're like, I need help. You know, I don't feel good. And I'm like, okay, I, I know, I know you don't feel good. And I promise I'm going to help you. It's not going to be a super quick fix, but I guarantee I will help you for these simple problems. If it's overturning a diagnosis and you're in your 70s and you've had the diagnosis for four or five years and you've been on copious amounts of medications and doing the flu shot, I probably can't. I probably can't guarantee you, but man, I'm going to do my best because I want to be able to hold my head up and go, I healed this, you know, like I did with myasthenia gravis, which is a thymus gland issue, right? The lady's totally healed. The doctor said, no way is that going to happen, or Denny Wita with the stage three kidney disease, or lupus with Ernestina, or myovarian cancer, Brian Marshall's psoriasis of 31 years with his skin red and peeling. I could keep going, okay? But anyway, Mayo did a study, and they found out that people that started taking calcium supplementation, that's why I go, no, 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 we're not taking calcium, and whoa, no, 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 we're not taking iron. We'll get it the food way. We'll get it the Dr. Sabi way. See, I give credit. Yellow dock, sarsaparilla root, and I know lots of other herbs. And I, as a Western herbalist, I'm an herbalist, like to have people drink nettle leaf tea. And sometimes I'll infuse a little bit of oat straw and maybe even a tiny bit of alfalfa in there too, just to kind of make it interesting. You know, and then we could even throw in a little teeny tiny bit of um, hibiscus in there just to kind of give it a little bit of sweetness. Okay, so Mayo did a study about extra calcium and they found out that it tripled the risk of non-spinal fractures, okay? Now, um, I have a client and I've over and over and over with a client when I have a client have to explain dairy, cow, utter fluid is the wrong thing to do. Cheese is the wrong thing to do. Sour cream is the wrong thing. Cottage cheese is the wrong thing. Yogurt made out of cow is the wrong thing to do. We're not cows. We're not bovine. And let's just let the baby cows have their mama, and we've got other solutions. It really takes about two seconds to make hemp milk. I've been making it for many, many, many years. I started experimenting and making uh, milk with raw pumpkin seeds a long time ago, and um, Brazil nuts, I was like, well, wait a minute, if I could use raw almonds, I could pretty much use anything. So I started doing things and I thought, God, people are going to think I'm weird. And then as I got onto social media, I was like, hmm, okay. So like, you know, 
people don't find this so weird. They're starting to make things at home. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, what do I want to say here? Oh, adrenopause um, has everything to do when you're an elder, you know, and you're over 55. And you don't really hear this very much. But people that have what's called serial osteoporosis, right, which means it's it's been going and going, is adrenal related, right? So if your calcium is going to be too, too, too low, your tissue, meaning in your tissues and your bones, you're going to have a lot of anxiety. Does that sound like anybody you know? Anxiety, anxiety disorders, small or super large, right? Think about this for a minute. Think about this for a minute, especially as I get to the very end of this, because people whose calcium was way too high and they were taking the calcium supplements and they were drinking the cow milk all the time, eating the yogurts and eating the cheese. Think about all the young people where I live. They probably have pizza two or three times a week. Okay. Pizza two or three times a week. So they're abrading the throat and the gut with the wheat and they're mucusing up their body with the cheese. Excess calcium is going to do fatigue, headache, paranoia, and depression. Paranoia. Believe it. Okay? I think I got one last page because, man, I didn't mean for this to be super long. But I hope it's okay. I hope you're enjoying it. Sandy, good to see you, Sandy. Unpredictable Yolanda. Um, your HTMA is going to be able to confirm. Sandy, you should be able to look on yours and see where your calcium is in conjunction with your, same thing with you, uh, Kim. And uh, Marky, maybe you'll get one. And Christy, maybe you'll get one. Um, and who else? Unpredictable Yolanda. So you'll see with your calcium, you want to have a ratio with that magnesium. And they want to be like kind of close, not like, you know, calcium's way up here and magnesium's down here. Because then the ratio, the balance is off, okay? So your HTMA number two is going to be able to confirm your calcium levels in a way that you're never going to get from your doctor. It's not going to be the same thing. The calcium that's measured in your blood is not the calcium that's measured in your tissue. The HTMA is a hair tissue. It's tissue that extrudes from the scalp closest to the BB or the B3, as I like to call it, the blood-brain barrier, the neuroprotective, most active blood in your body up around your cortex in your brain, okay? So you can have too little in your blood, and the doctor can say, you are totally running too low. You don't have enough calcium. And you can get a hair tissue mineral analysis, and you can find out, you have too much calcium in your tissues. So this is where the 30 minute or 45 minute, ideally, depending on how detailed it is, if you wanna buy the package, you can buy the 30 minute that I have for a little over $200. I mean, what a deal. It's all done through the mail and then through a video screen for half an hour. And I'm gonna be able to see your tissue levels of calcium. So if it's way too high, you don't want to be going into gallstones and depression and fatigue and exhaustion and paranoia. You don't, right? So does this give you a handle on psychiatric issues that when your spark plugs are not balanced, you might go like Dr. Shames's mother-in-law who wrote Thyroid Mind Power, a book that I really love that I read many years ago when it first came out when I started my quest. I didn't give a shit about a thyroid, to be honest with you. I was like 20 years ago, what the hell is a thyroid? I don't know. A thyroid. I don't care about a thyroid. But now that I know from reading medical abstracts, reading numbers of books from doctors, reading studies, learning the hair testing, learning the chemistry, learning the trace elements, working with real people and solving their problems, thyroid's everything to me. So my son will be the first one to tell you, my mom thinks everything has to do with the thyroid. Okay, and it does for a lot of people. <clears throat> Your nervous system is sensitive, okay? Your sensory issues and dangerous levels of issues 
that are caused to your central nervous system can be prevented and healed by taking a good evaluation of your hair test. Don't let people become duped into being drugged for the rest of their lives. I am not telling you medical advice. Don't try to catch me up in the spider web. I'm way too good for that. I've been doing this too long. I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm not telling you not to take your medications. What I am saying is this. If you find out that your child, your young adult child, or someone you love, or your mother, or someone else is all of a sudden randomly diagnosed, like you know that maybe they were crazy for a while, as we like to say, but they're diagnosed with bipolar, or bipolar schizophrenic effect, or God knows any number of DSM number five codes, the Diagnostic Service Manual. Get a freaking hair test. Don't doom them to the rest of their life. I paid my son to get his hair test done, and I have to pay for the hair test too, and I didn't really have a lot of money at that time. But I was like, oh no, we're getting the hair test done. And come to find out, I know he gave me permission to say this, but his hair test had a slight amount of elevated lead. And lead changes a person into something they don't want to be. And it's going to be much more likely for them to be aggressive, to shut down, to be impatient, to be irritable. It's like fire snoring over there, right? He loves to eat. And Rottweilers have been so inbred that a lot of their trace elements are really off. So don't skip out on getting a hair test for you, for your children, for your partner, for your husbands, wives, grandparents. In fact, it says, Dr. Watts was saying that um, it's really important to get a baseline. So if you have access to get a baseline of your mother and father, you and your partner and your children, you're going to have three generations that doesn't cost you that much. You know, you're talking 250 for the grandparents, right? Lifetime investment. That's going to translate into what do their grandchildren have to be concerned about? Don't just take what the doctor says and said, it runs in the family. It doesn't have to just run in the family. What runs in the family is like Kim talks about. How, how does your family eat? Does your family sit around and play video games all day long and role play games, and watch all these grotesque horror movies, right? Do you sit there and watch porno all night long and don't sleep at night? I mean, what are your habits? Because how you eat, what your habits are, do you invest in some supplements? I mean, I don't want you to go out there and buy all these vitamins and minerals and everything like that. Don't guess. You can't make vitamins unless your spark plugs are doing what they're supposed to do. You can't do it. So you can go to every person who tells you that I'm the hormone balancer. And I'm like, really, what do you do? Well, I balance hormones and I have a tincture that I give everybody that works really good. And I'm like, that sounds like a one size fits all shoe. Doesn't sound like it's a good idea. And you know what? The argument that we're all different. No, 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 nope. You are different in that your families did things differently. You lived on different land, but the human body itself is all the same. It, it's the same. Two eyes, nose, mouth, skin made out of earth. You got a throat. You got a gut. You got a gastrointestinal system. You exit through the anus, right? That's the exit. That's where the garbage goes out is in the anus, okay? So that's the deal. Now, really quickly, your minerals are best instead of one calcium test when you go to your doctor. Your calcium is going to be juxtaposed, your magnesium, your phosphorus, your sodium, yada, 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 right? Your sodium and potassium are going to show me if you're in the throes of being an addictive personality, whether it's people, places, things, drugs, substances, alcohols, care, energy, whatever it is, it's going to show me that you've got some addictive personality traits that we can work on because I'm going to use sodium or potassium to bring one or the other so the ratio comes back down. Okay? Now, so your minerals are best evaluated in relation to the other cofactors. So if I look at calcium, I'm going to look at your magnesium. If I look at copper, I'm going to look at your zinc. Okay? If I look at iron, 
I'm going to look to see what is it doing with your mercury. Okay. If your iron is like, whoa, way down in the toilet, you live here on the Mesabi Iron Range where I live, I'm going to say something is not right. If it's super high, I'm going to say you are trying to get rid of a lot of excess mercury or lead or something's going on. And I'm going to discover through asking you the gathering phase number one, hmm, I read your wellness form really, you know, you put a lot of information on there before we had our cons. Ooh, fire. It's a lot of snoring. I read your wellness form. Let me ask you a couple questions about your diet. What do you generally eat most of the time? You know, do you normally sleep all night long? Do you have type one or type two insomnia? Do you go to sleep right away, but you wake up all the time? Or do you lay there and you can't sleep at all? But once you go to sleep, you just don't want to get up in the morning. Two totally different types of insomnia. Okay. So I like to go in deep. I like to make it fun. I like to find real solutions, just like I did for the other folks with diseases. You know what? One of the most difficult things to do, even with people I've seen for 10, 15 years, is to get them on a video. They don't want to get on a video. They don't want to get on a video and say, oh, yeah, I know I saw all these things and I did all this and, you know, she helped me with this. Because some people are really, most people, at least where I'm at in Minnesota, are extremely, extremely private. Okay, they're very, very private. Okay, so we got to look at the minerals being best evaluated in relationship to cofactors. We're just about done. I'm just about going to wrap it up so you can give me your questions before I go. Um, healing the whole is different than treating your symptoms. Okay, yes, I get it. You may have gone to the doctor and the doctor may have said, you've got blankety blank potter and you've got blinkety blank potter and over oh you've got blink blink potter blink blink okay i listen to that because i know that within that code diagnosis are going to be sundry symptoms okay and i want to know what they are because i want to help you but it's just one factor alongside your tissue testing if you don't have hair, if you don't have chest hair, because first we do scalp hair. If you don't have that, we do chest hair. If you don't have chest hair, we do pubic hair. If you don't have pubic hair and people that are really, really high in iron with chemochromatosis, they don't. So then we do nail clippings. I have to clip mine really short because I go in and do massage and you don't want to be scratching people. So for 16 years, it's all the way down. Okay. Um, Healing the whole is not treating the, just the parts. I don't want to treat the parts. It's like people used to come in for massage 16 years ago, 16 years ago. Whoa. And they would come in and they'd say, it's just my neck. Can you just like massage my neck? And I'm like, massage your neck for an hour? No, I can't. <laughs> and they're like, wait, what? I'm like, no, mm -mm. I can't massage your neck for an hour because number one, I don't believe in that because I take care of the whole and not just your neck. So I can do a lot on your neck, but I'm also going to do the second toe next to the big toe and do what I call the milking because that's where the neck point is that that's a discovery I made. Okay. I'm also going to do the pads of your feet and release out your neck. I'm also going to do a little bit of your back and your shoulders so I can release out your neck and your gut where you hold tension because I know better now. Then they go out the door and they're like, oh, wow, okay, my neck feels kind of better, but I would have gotten their whole, I would have made their whole body feel better. So it depends, but the majority of the time if people say just do my back, um, they're the ones paying me to work, so that's what I do. But I don't really like to do that. I like to do the whole person. So there are other cofactors, minerals on the last last leg here, uh, two calcium that are, you know, synergistic. They work with calcium. And they are magnesium, copper, potassium, phosphorus, fire, sodium, and selenium. There are vitamins that calcium, 
works with these hard hard wooden chair I'm adjusting myself calcium works with these vitamins your minerals have to make your vitamins work they are even though we know D is a hormone D C E and A four of them D C E and A okay so vitamin C is an antagonist to copper so if I put someone on copper, I can't put them on huge mega doses, meaning like three to five grams of vitamin C. And certain people, when their zinc is through the roof and I need to get a little more copper in, what I need to do is also get them on vitamin C. So I start them off on not more than five, three to five teaspoons of the special vitamin C that I use every day because I'm doing a multi approach to building the gut releasing out the tension, doing sessions so that we kind of explore the mind-body without the person even knowing it. I'm just kind of jotting and noticing the body language. And then we put the whole thing together, which is why it takes more than one session. So I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm all done. Do you guys have any questions? And while I'm waiting for you to type any questions that you might have and wipe off my glasses here, and then I'm going to go eat. I'm going to make... I think I'm going to make some zoodles because I think that's all I have. Or some quinoa or the other. I don't know. I see grackles outside. I have many, many, many bottles. The multiple minerals here, I'll just kind of show you what's in that. Yeah, it looks like it's really hard to see there. So these are $10 a bottle plus $7.50 shipping. Covers the envelope and the postage. Whoops, because they're glass. Well, anyway, you know what you could do is I could do this. Gosh, this camera. Multiple Minerals is a liquid ionic. They have to retail for $20 a bottle. But um, this one expires 214.21. So still good for a long time, right? And I've got two of these. They'll be $10 each. Well, no, wait, this one's a lithium. Okay. Lithium. Freaking amazing for depression, you know, calms people down. We know what lithium is, right? Go to naturallywithkaren.com and click on the shop. And you can then read in detail about each one of these. So I've got two multiple minerals. I've got two of the joint support, which is silica and sulfur. This stuff is really, really amazing for people with stiff joints and problems with their joints. I've got sulfur, which is what I use and I'm gonna be using extensively myself to grow fast, thick. You know, you can see this is where pigment is lost. This isn't gray. It's just because of the light. But the gray hairs that I had from the stress with the heroin and everything are actually falling out. I'm being totally candid with you. The only thing I do is I add eyebrow pencil and I'm doing a lot of scrubs on my skin to exfoliate my skin. But I just want to show you because I haven't been able to do this before because I probably would have hid the way how, how horrible I looked. Yeah, I was stressed. Yes, I needed a vacation, Val. I did. Okay. Um, but this is my hair. It's growing back. It's nice. It's got a nice curl and a nice balance. I just kind of put a poof up because I'm doing a variety of things here today. And I totally enjoy doing the YouTube live streams and the Naturally with Karen live streams. So it doesn't look like anybody has any questions right at this moment. If you think of them later, you can always let me know. And thank you, whomever five is with me right now. Um, calcium is something that's absolutely crucial to your life. You just learned for your heart, your nervous system, your bones, your teeth. What else? The calcium is held in a reservoir. I began speaking that your body, your internal system is the living waters. Okay. Watch me regenerate. Go back and look at a couple of videos of me in January, February, or March, the very few that I would allow and save on my page because I looked at myself and I was like, oh no, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I took a lot of time off work. And um, 
there's many times I got myself to sleep at nine or 10 and some other stressors have kind of arose. But guess what? Everyone in their life has stress and not everyone can afford to run out and take a vacation. And many of us work very, very hard. And many of us have really rock solid goals. One of my rock solid goals is to finish some of the projects I want to do that I had to put on hold for a while. And I want to do a quality job so that when I bring this medicine, people trust me and they know that what I'm talking about is real. You don't have to trust me because I don't have a testimonial for this certain thing or because I charge you money for my time. My time is valuable. I'm not going to be able to ever take a vacation and I'm not here to be nailed to the cross or be someone's martyr. I'm not. I am here not as a hobby. I'm here as a woman that is a legit shaman and an original medicine person because I earned it. Because I spent tens and tens of thousands of dollars and I did it from a place of love. Okay? I also like to laugh and joke and have fun. And I like to help you to be able to realize how you can help yourself because you heal yourself. I'm just a guide that says, Whoo, this is what I see on yours. And it's actually going to be far easier than you think. Just like last week, last strong, right? I said, uh, 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 I see exactly the problem right here. All we got to do is take this level down with one of these. Okay. It doesn't have to be mine. I actually mentioned to her to go get it on the West coast. Go get that 20 bucks, 15 drops in your water. I'm going to have you do these three other things. And then these three other habits. And that'll be where we go from there. And we made a package deal to do, uh, you know, so many sessions at so much of a price. So, you know, she did um, six half hour sessions is what she's going to do. And we're going to do them either. Ideally, we would do them weekly because um, we want to get through some of the gathering and some of the stabilization. So then I can take her through the detoxification and I can show her where her glands didn't have enough of what they needed. All right. Whoops. Oh, there's a little thing on my screen here. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be downloading this and uploading this to YouTube. And I hope that it will help a lot of people because it would have saved me a lot of grief if I would have known that I could have done this you know, 25, 30 years ago, and it was around, it was around 35 years ago. I remember hearing about hair testing. I thought hair testing, what the hell, right? Why would you get a hair test? I mean, that sounds like it might even be kind of flaky, but the lab's been around 35 years. And even people here in a town a city of 11,000 people, uh, the gal that works for the city of Cloquet told me that her father used to do this and she had bought a downloadable copy of my book, Detox and Heal Your Thyroid. And she goes, I believe in that 150%. And if my dad were alive right now, he would just be totally supporting you and telling everyone to do this. He goes, but it's an art form. And it is. I've got several years into learning hair testing and lots of books under my belt. And I have a list still that I'm going to send as an email courtesy to Dr. Watts and ask him for a phone call. And he calls me and I go, you sure I'm not bothering you? And he goes, no, no, it's okay. And I go, well, I, I really value and respect you. And I, I want to learn. And I said, when I do my live streams, you know, I, I mention you, he says, Oh, okay. You know, but talk about the most down to earth guy. Why can we not support each other as women? Why can we not have a center? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my YouTube video at Naturally with Karen, where it talks about my vision for the center. It's a place where people can come for a day, a week, two weeks, three weeks, a week, a couple of months. They can regenerate or they can learn what they need to do and we can formulate a plan, right? And then they can do a video consult two weeks, three weeks, a month later, and we can update the plan with the next level, the next steps okay we can regenerate people not just drug them cut it out of them and kill it out of them with chemo and radiation that's your choice that's okay the thing about we all live here in america or we all live here on different places of the world 
And one of the prevailing philosophies is you can have it your way, right? We can all be royalty. We can all want to be royalty. We can all have it our way. But I think there's a better way. And that better way has to do with coming together in group mind, meaning focusing on the positive, okay? Healing our people and healing our earth, whether you want to argue about it being round or geometric or flat, I don't really care. But sometimes it's the systems and the packages, you can see I still have hairs, that really cause us the problems because you start naming your God and standing staunchly by your religion and staunchly by your candidate and your politics and your TV show and your right to do what you want and how you think about vaccines and how you think about abortion. And then divided we fall. Divided we fall. I'm a founding mother, not a founding father. I'm a founding mother. I want to generate an equal playing field where mother, father, and children are equally valued no matter where they are, no matter what they look like, no matter what content of pigment they have inside of their skin. Pigment is minerals, they're the trace elements. Don't get that twisted. Do your research because even if you're an anesthesiologist, you need to know that a person in a black vehicle is gonna be treated or should be treated differently when it comes to anesthesia. All right, I'll see you. I'm gonna say so long. Have an awesome day.